Good morning, students. Hope all of you are fine. In the previous class, we read about the chapter three, that is, time to travel. So, before proceeding with the following chapter, we will do a quick revision revision of the chapter, and then we will start the next part. So, in the previous day, I have told you what is transport. So, the method used for carrying goods and people from one place to another is called transport. Traveling has been an integral part of our life, so we move from one place to another for many reasons. We use different types of vehicles to travel: cars, scooters, buses, trains, boat, ships, and aeroplanes are some commonly used vehicles. Invention of wheel. Before the invention of wheel, people traveled on foot. Animals were also used as means of transport. Early men. tamed animals such as horses camels yaks mules and elephants for traveling and carrying goods the idea of wheel came accidentally when early men saw the round logs of wood rolling down the hill slopes they placed logs of wood under an object and it rolled over the logs the invention of wheel changed the way people traveled wheel played a pivotal role in our progress The first wheel was made from a thick tree trunk. Today, wheels are made up of rubber used with air, and these wheels allow us faster and smoother travel. Most of the vehicles that we use today move on wheels. Even the aeroplane that flies in air has wheels to take off and to land. Now we will read about the changes in transport. The first one. the types of transport is the land transport water transport and air transport <coughs> in the previous class we have learned about the land transport early transportation system tells us about the transition whereby people traveled on foot firstly and then used animals to carry people and goods the invention of wheel made movement from one place to another easier and faster Initially animal driven carts were used they gave way to motorized vehicles driven by engines these vehicles were powered by fuels like petrol and diesel today we also have cng that is compressed natural gas powered vehicles which save money on fuel and reduce pollution levels cng is considered one of the most energy efficient fuel trains are used to travel long distances within the country and are the most important means of land transport it is cheaper faster and very comfortable means to travel trains are introduced by the british in india the first train india ran between mumbai and thane in 1853 it was a 14 car carriage train with a steam engine that did not run very fast today indian railways had a series of super fast trains that are used fuels like diesel and electricity satabdi and rajdhani express run at about 100 to 160 km per hour now india has the largest network of railways in the world the metro railway system has proven to be an efficient means of travel in a city it causes no pollution so the next part which we are going to read about today is water transport So what is water transport long before the invention of steam engine people used boats rafts and ships moved at a slow speed steam engines were invented by james watt in 1769 that changed everything boats started running on steam generated power sorry with the invention of motorized vehicle it started to go faster the boats started running faster on steam generated power later large ships were fitted with diesel or steam engine it proved the speed of the ships nowadays we have a huge ship that cover long distances and carry goods across the world beside this there are motor boats ferries and yachts too many canals harbors and ports have been made for smooth functioning of water transport the next part is the air transport In the beginning of the 20th century, Wright brothers invented the invented the world's first aeroplane, which would fly for a short distance 
at a slow speed and at a very low height. Over the years, air transport has reached new heights and today we have supersonic jets and airbuses. They carry passengers and goods by one, from one city to another in the shortest time possible. The invention of rocket has made it possible for humans to land on the moon. Modern technology has redefined transportation. Long or short distances, long or short distances can easily be travelled in a day's time. So, the uh, our aeroplane was first invented by Wright brothers, which were smaller in size, but uh, they could travel a short distance and they could fly at a very low height. Later on, they improved uh, improved the engine and everything, and they started building a good aeroplanes for us to uh, transport or to carry goods from one place to another. So this much is there in your lesson for today. In the next day, I will give you the exercise question answers, exercise and question answers.